Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python tuples where we'll learn about how to remove the empty tuples from the list of tuples. So as you can see here, the approach of this video will be first I will show you how to remove the empty tuples using the list comprehension method. And the second method that I will use is the filter method. Okay, so starting here, like I have created a movie list of tuples uh, wherein I have a tuple in inside the list and uh, it has uh, like the movie name and the year in which was released. I also have created some empty tuples. Okay, so the main target is how do we remove the empty tuples. So if we execute this here, my tuple is created and the type of this uh, movie list of tuple will be list because it's a list of tuple. Now, for, so using the method one, how it how we will proceed. So using the uh, method one, how we will proceed. So what I have done here, I will I have gone to my terminal and I just want to show you something. If I say tuple is equals to empty tuple, okay. So if I give type type of tup, then this is a class tuple. This is a tuple, and if I just give if tup, okay. print true else print so you can see since my tuple is empty it will give me false if i repeat the same thing if i give tuple is equals to 1 comma 1 comma 2 tuple if tuple print true else print false in this case it will give true because my tuple is not empty it has some values in that case it will give me true and in the case if it is empty it will give me false so using the same same understanding of the tuples i will use the list comprehension so what i will do i will say movies which is equal to and then i'll create say tuple for tuple in movies underscore list of tuple if if tuple okay so only if it is a tuple so only if it is a tuple then only it will be like uh, whatever value it will it will be stored in my movies view and after that what will be will do we will simply print remove quotes okay and then we will execute this go end here and we'll delete this now it will execute this again so you can see initially tuple for tuple in the movies list if tuple I have given this keyword tupla and it should be the value which I have passed here. So now you can see this is my initial tuple and in this I have removed the empty tuple. So you can see here my first method I have removed uh, like uh, empty tuples using the list comprehension. Now the second method is very simple. Okay, so method number two. So I will say movies remove underscore empty tuples. Okay. And I'll say here I am going to use a filter method wherein if it is a none, like it does not contain anything, and my initial uh, list of tuples is this one, right? So and then what I will do, I will print a type of movies remove empty. I will print my what is my movies remove empty okay you can see this this is my i am creating this tuple uh, wherein i am using the filter method to remove the duplicates okay but the most important thing is if you are using python lesson 3 version it will work perfectly but this will not return me the value of the uh, like tuples it will just simply pass me the generator so before executing this i will simply comment the first two lines okay this is not executed control forward slash and now it will execute this okay so let's see so you can see the class is filter whatever we have created a filter here and then the filter object is this now the there is some magic here like i certainly feel there is some magic because this is a generator which is created if you run a for loop okay for i in for i in uh, movies remove empty okay and then print i and after that so if you if you run this what will happen 
you can see here right my class filter is done okay now what happens if again you if you want to print this twice okay so what i will do now i have just executed this and now i will give two uh, for loops okay and i'll give something after first for loop okay and we will try to run this you can see here if you see here after using the filter a generator is created generator object is created and then when i have run a for loop uh, i can see all the members of my of the generator okay which is nothing but the tuples and after that i have just print this after the first for loop and after that this line exec this two lines of code is executed but we did not get any output because once you run the generator everything will be flushed from that object and nothing will stay there okay so what i will do here if i want to get a, create my own list okay so i will simply i will simply create one uh, list okay empty list list one which is equal to empty list and then here i will append this list list one dot append and inside this i will pass i okay and after this once this is done i will print this list we'll save this and we will execute it now so you can see here this is my list of tuples wherein i have this is the very first line tuple this is my initial tuple this is the filter where i have created the filter objects and after that i have run the for loop this this uh, statement whatever you, you can see here titan all this is nothing but the output of my for loop after that what i have done is i am appending i have created my own list how do we store the output of a generator in, into a list okay so that's why i have created this and i am adding it to my list and then i have got this the list after removing the empty tuples okay so through this way i have removed the empty tuples okay so that is for the session in this session what i have done i have shown you using list comprehension how to remove that uh, how to remove the empty uh, tuples and also using the filter met method in python 3 how we can create a list of tuples okay so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also please uh, try to uh, like refer my videos to your friend it will really help me a lot so i'll see you in my next video thank you